Welcome back to the Morning Edition. Now on a lighter note, a local artist is paying homage to gifts passed down throughout the Jane line, and he is doing so through an art exhibition. Jim Anita Swain takes a look. Kim Smith, better known in the art world as K. Smith, recently unveiled his hyperrealism collection at the Diagula Art Foundation. The exhibition features two centuries of Smith. It's celebrating the 200th anniversary of one of my great, great grandfather's drawings from 1819. And I've created a partner piece for it in 2019. I've got a piece of his from 1839. I've got a piece by his wife, who's my great-great-grandmother. So it's a celebration of my ancestral genetic God-given gift. Just in case you're wondering about his art style. Hyperrealism is a genre of art that emanated out of the 1960s. It was called photorealism. And hyperrealism is where artists will use a photograph for a reference. And they will often edit, leave things out sharpen details so that your, your, your artwork will look more like a photograph than the actual photograph. This is the case with the works on display that appear very detailed, almost photo-like, until Smith reminds it's all done with pencils. This is all done by hand. And in the world, you've got hyper-realist artists who draw, they paint. There are hyper-realist sculptors, and they, 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 their, their sculptures look like real humans. So it's a genre that's really accepted more globally than it is here, for whatever reasons. But I think more and more hyperrealism is going to be making a, a swing back. There are a number of designs on display that appear very real, from water to natural landscapes. He also showed us a drawing he's been working on for quite some time. But he explains what he hopes to accomplish through his collection might be inspired to start their genealogy and, and, and get a family tree done. Um, the second thing would be that the images that I draw are things that we see every day and you might just walk by them. But what I'm doing is I'm causing you to stop and look. Maybe I change the way you see high end on the framing. So the, the moldings are high end. I've brought museum glass in. It's the second most expensive glass in the world. The exhibition Two Centuries of Smith will be on display until the end of January 2020. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.